So Jason Hyatt has a question. The Earth has a magnetic field that protects it from space radiation. Is there any reason why a magnetic field could not be used on a spacecraft, either for the whole ship or as an emergency shelter? An MRI scanner produces a very strong magnetic field. Why not a magnetic field generator, a la an MRI, to protect astronauts? That is what a coincidentally happy question right yeah. there. If you had a strong enough magnet, yeah, you could pull it off. But our problem so far is generating enormous magnetic fields takes a lot of energy. It's a lot of power you need. Really? What? How much? A lot. Like as much as a like a like a coffee maker that's like supercharged. It'd be a little a, more than that. Yeah. So like a boat, like a giant boat, a cruise ship, like a diesel engine on a pretty large, like a tugboat diesel engine. Okay, but so that's more than you would have on your average space your average ship because spaceship. of how heavy and giant and weird. Yeah, that you is. don't want any big stuff like that. You don't you know, want to fly generally... with a truck into space. But just yeah. imagine, kind of defeats the purpose. Just imagine if we had solar panels big enough. And mm-hmm. some superconducting situation in the icy blackness of space, and you could create a magnetic field strong enough. That's actually a science fictional kind of cool engineering question. But I think when, at least right now, early in the 21st century, we humans can't crank that out. We can't make such a thing. But who knows what the future? But that. Holds. But if we started doing more space exploration, we would potentially come up with that technology down the line. It seems like something. If you had that, uh, that much power, it yeah, seems you to make sense. Power. power. Everything but there's other we do other things for for space radiation like uh, suits like like <laughs> space suits uh, water's a pretty good insulator actually oh really yeah and uh, shielding you know all the sp- all, and and we try to understand how much you you take you know we always wear a dosimeter when you go into space oh really to measure how much how radiation much you're taking are you exposed to like when you went? it's it's a pretty good dose. Uh, uh, it it also depends it also depends on where you are spacewalks you get more than when you're inside the spaceship right. at a higher altitude by where we were at Hubble as opposed to where the space station oh, is. Oh wow! Go Just a few hundred, a few yes. tens of kilometers make a big difference. That's right. In a length of time, you're going to be there, mm-hmm. and if there's solar flares when you're up there, so it's a bunch oh, of wow. factors. But it's nothing. It it if you fly in space for over a year or so, like some people have a combined over a year stay, mm-hmm. uh, they have to track it and make sure you're okay. That's when you start getting you know, a little bit curious. But we have astronauts who have flown. Scott Kelly's going to be up for a whole year is the plan. He's already been up over six months oh, wow. in his life. And so he has to insulate year. himself in water. He has, yeah, he's going to be he's going to t- stay out of the sun as yeah, much as he can. Gonna... But uh, when you say water, you jacket the spacecraft. Well, for example, water can, yeah. So if you have a water bag, like on the space station, you want to get some extra extra uh, shielding. Mm-hmm. If you were to, to, to line the outside of your spaceship, with uh, with water, for example, it's do you line good... the outside, or is there a I layer mean, inside, of water in, in the inside? No, there is okay. no layer of water. I'm saying if you were trying to, if you were worried about a solar flare, for example, yeah. in your spaceship, and you had water bags, that oh. would help you. That you would shield. just add, so you'd just yeah. Like... So no, well, you're taking of using water, your water anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So use your use it as a shielding. That's Can you drink irradiated even... water? It's not that irradiated. It's fine. You're it's not fine. Gonna, yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. It's great. Yeah, it's no it's problem. Like a tonic. <laughs> it's great. Nah, it's nothing better than irradiated water from space. Yeah. In fact, there's it's probably really, a market for it. There's yeah. probably yeah. somebody who really it's a, wants it's this It's a pretty stuff. cool bar in Brooklyn that sells it. Whole Foods is going to Actually, ask sure a pretty do. good question, Eugene. Uh, that's not bad. I'm going to go but ask him when said, I get back home. Wait a minute. Hold that thought, you guys. We will be back shortly at Star Talk Radio. The left arm. 